Okay, so today we will be testing out Manos AI image generation capabilities. I have heard that this tool can actually generate images and I really want to test it out whether it works or not. Right now I have the free version so we can also see how many credits it eats up in a single day. So let's get started. I'm going to get started by creating this beautiful image of a woman. The model that you see right now on screen is Recraft. I have created loads of videos about it and we're going to do a comparison. So this is Manus AI. We know that this is an agentic AI tool and we want to create an image of a hyper-realistic portrait of a beautiful brunette girl with brown eyes, blah, 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 blah. So we're sending this request to Manus and let's see whether the news and the speculation is actually correct. What I have heard is that it can create super beautiful images. I really want to see whether that can happen or not. And here we can actually see Manus working, which is actually super interesting. So we can see what it's doing right now. It tries to generate a portrait image based on the user's description. I'm really interested to see whether it uses an external model instead of actually generating it by itself. So that would be very interesting. The image is still getting generated and really guys, what I have heard from people is that it creates an amazing work. So how did they actually generate this? This is super intriguing. The image is not bad. The woman here, of course, has more details, he is more beautiful. Don't ask me why we generate this image. I try to create an AI only fans agency, but it's a little bit harder <laughs> than expected. Okay, so this is like the image and if we compare, yeah, it's not a bad picture. I think the model used here is Flux with a real LoRa, I'm not really sure, uh, but yeah, I think it looks good. I think the response is good and here we can see that Manus has completed the current task. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new task. It seems like we have not eaten up loads of credits, so that's good. You could maybe potentially use this model um, many, many times. So I'm going to go ahead and, and task Manus to place this house in the image of the valley. Place the image of the house in the image of the valley. Make sure to, imp sure to make the merge look realistic. So we're going to try and place this house inside this image in a realistic way. So let's see if Mas can actually edit and actually Photoshop images. In any case, if you want to learn more about the powers of AI, how you can use it to become more productive, potentially make money by creating applications, generating images, videos, audios, creating videos or whatever you could think of, uh, you can join in my Udemy course. You will find the link down below. It's super cheap. You pay once, you get all of the updates for the next year or so. I look to really create a master course that is going to be so much better than anything else out there. Potentially, there is a potential that the price may become a lot, uh, you know, the, the price may increase as I keep updating it and putting more stuff. So maybe it's better to join now that is super cheap. It's very helpful right now, early days, you help sustain the channel. So both uploaded images have the same name. So it's trying to do a confirmation, which is interesting. I really love how you can actually see Manus working on the back end. I really think this is the future of AI. And I think right now it's the present, but not all of the companies have such great integration of terminals, of tools, of all of the workflows in an automated way. This is purely agentic stuff. And we can see the plant. And we can see the plan here, segment the house from the house image, blend the house into the valley scene, validate for realism and quality, report and send the composite to the user. This is amazing. So in all honesty, you have to be a little bit patient with Manus. You have to understand that probably this model is running on low effort VMs, so they don't spend loads of money 
on using the VM and also the models. So just give it time. It's going to take a little bit of time. Maybe it takes five to 10 minutes to do this. But trust me, guys, if you place this, if you put this to a Photoshop editor, you are going to spend at least $20 and wait at least one to two days for him to do it for you. So if Manus can do this, that's going to be groundbreaking. So I think at the same time, at the same time, I would really love to actually test out ChatGPT capabilities on this specific prompt. So maybe let's have like a comparison of what both models can do, how fast, maybe that's good. For example, here we had exactly what we were thinking about. We cannot sadly use loads of image generator models to do this kind of image editing. Uh, hopefully Manus will be able to do this. Okay, ah, oh, so it waits for my reply. Okay, so the first image, that was the second is the valid, guys. I really hate when AI agents wait for my response. I absolutely hate it. But let's say place the image of the house and the image of the valley and let's see if Charlie can actually create a highly realistic image, a beautiful image out of these two images, if it can do image editing. So Manus has started working and I'm a little scared that it's doing the exact opposite of what it should do. This is the valley. This is not the first image. Oh my God, it's going to be so bad. So in any case, when you try it out, try to put like the name of the object in the image. I notice it seems to be a confusion with images. I can only see one image in the upload folder. Oh, come on. House image again. Okay, so let me give you the house image again. Okay, so this is a little disappointing, but again, it's the worst. It's going to be, I attach the image of the house. Okay, so this is the worst it's going to be. This is the worst it's ever going to be, AI. So here we can actually see the image getting generated. It takes a little bit of time. Also, Manus is working. Hopefully this will fix any kind of mistakes. I really want to see what Chapiti has to say. But already, I think Manus has quite excited me. It has quite excited me. Hopefully we will not be out of credits with all of these revisions. So this is the image generation from ChatGPT. This doesn't look bad. I also like the reflection. I also like the styling. It's not perfect. Uh, there are some idiotic things here, but this is the worst it's going to get, guys. ChatGPT 5 is going to be even more insane. So yeah, it also removed like this watermark that, there, <laughs> that was existing. I didn't even see it. So yeah, it, it did a good job in my opinion. I like this response. I like this response. So let's see what Manus is going to do. Segmentations, like guys, this is this is amazing stuff. Like if you could have Manus running locally on your computer and do all of this stuff, write all of these codes, do all of this editing, that's pretty insane stuff. These are not simple stuff. If I want to essentially implement this in a tool, it's not so easy. But here it actually writes the Python code to do the segmentation of the house. So this is insane, in my opinion. Okay, so we're expecting the result. Let's go, Manus. And I'm going to ask GPT to color this house. Convert this sketch to a highly realistic image. So let's see if it can actually do this conversion. That's the next question I'm going to ask Manus if it ever wants to like respond to the current query. But yeah, it's it's very surprising how it goes through all of this work. Oh my God, it's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. Look at this. Look at where the house is. Oh my God, it looks super bad. Improve composite. Oh my God, this is this is going to be so bad. Okay, so GPT asks us for which generation we like. So that's going to be exciting. So Manus is working, refine the composite with Bender blending and shadows. So that's interesting, jump to live. Uh, we're seeing some kind of other code here. Really interesting approach. This is purely agentic. It goes by writing code instead of using models. I really don't know the underlying techniques, but this is interesting. This is a completely different approach from what OpenAI does. So OpenAI just takes the image, puts it into a model. Maybe it has some other steps for image understanding. Maybe it's just a single call to the model. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is insane, guys. Whoa, you can go from prompt to a very high quality image. Which one do I like more? I think I like this one more, but I like both of them. The, both of them are good. 
but oh, I don't know. This is more realistic, but I like this more. Okay, so I like this more. Oh my God, this is insane. We went from sketch to colored, high quality image. Oh my God, this is, this is insane. So analyze, identify. So these are the to-dos and let's see the final image. I really want to see the final image. I really also like how it gives you all of the previous code and the intermediary steps, but the final result is not going to be good. The, like, this is what I am expecting to see, which is completely bad. It's fucked up fully. So let's see. We're waiting for the final composition. Whoa! Oh my God, bro! What is going on? This is incredible. Yeah, the water is going like to the grass, but I really like this. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm so shocked. And, and we have even more tasks to do. This cost like a hundred credits. And it was a mistake of mine for the most part. Oh my God, this image. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Guys, I think AI has solved images. It's pretty much ready to solve all of math, physics, quantum, chip making. It's also very close to replace junior programmers. So probably mid, uh, mid programmers also super easy to replace. Like juniors are very good. Don't let anyone kid you that they're not good. Uh, the leap from junior to, to medium is not that big and seniors just know the tools and the general planning of stuff. So I think when we get AI agents to be junior coders, we will need three months for AI to improve and three months to be compute efficient and then we replace even seniors in six months. This is so shocking. I don't know, have you seen VO3? Like guys, they're putting whole podcasts of people that look realistic. You only can understand from facial expressions that these are AI generated. They're so realistic. There are some examples that are, oh my God, they're shocking. Shocking, guys. It's such exciting times, but so scary times. So here we can actually see Minus starting to generate. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Guys, this is beating GPT. They should put Manus on the leaderboard. This is incredible, man. Guys, I'm going to cry. This is insane. What the fuck is going on? Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't tell me this is the response. Oh my God. Guys, it blew, it blew GPT away. Oh my God. Oh my God. Create a website. Oh shit, this is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. Oh my god, man. What are you talking about? With a single prompt? In two minutes? Oh my god. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and see the website. So we can visit it by clicking this link. So you literally go from sketch to website in five minutes. Deployed. Deployed. Oh my god, come on. This is insane. Bye-bye.